Welcome to the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. It's uh, Clasico time at last. Real Madrid against Barcelona. And an opportunity perhaps for Real Madrid to make a decisive step in their quest for the Liga title. Or for Barcelona to keep the three-way title race going for a little bit longer. And uh, well, certainly for Real Madrid, the chance for them to finally, and they've been uh, trying to do it for many years, put an end to Barcelona's victorious cycle. For Barcelona, a chance for them to show that uh, they're not finished yet. It will be Victor Valdez's last ever Liga Clásico in the Bernabeu for Barcelona. Duncan Bishop, absolutely no surprises in the lineups uh, for either team tonight. No surprises, thanks, Simon. It is uh, a huge game for both sides, and uh, Carlo Ancelotti said as much yesterday that he would be going for the regular 11. It is uh, the star 11 for Tata Martino's side as well. Everybody more or less available of the big name players. It's going to be a huge game tonight at the Bernabeu. Fabregas and Messi, and uh, well, Neymar and Fabregas getting the opportunity. Uh, that uh, neither Pedro nor Alexis Sanchez get. Well, it is uh, the same starting lineup that was fielded against Manchester City. We shall uh, just observe a minute's silence uh, before the start of this game. We've seen Madrid right on top uh, of Barcelona. We've seen them's plan A certainly is not receiving that early goal. Messi gets his first touch. Excellent challenge just on the edge of the box from Mascherano, Barcelona played out quickly, Messi on the ball, he's got Neymar with him, Neymar's got the pace to get beyond, Ramos and the shot directly into the hands of Lopez on the near post, Real Madrid really caught there for a moment. Well it was almost the opposite. Five minutes on the clock and uh, well so far a lively class go indeed, Messi doing very well, trying to get away from Di Maria, Di Maria sticks with him. Xavi quickly finds Neymar, Neymar first time to Fabregas through the middle to Messi, this is looking better from Barcelona, Andres Iniesta, 1-0 to Barcelona, Iniesta gets it, and it's Barca who break the deadlock, six minutes gone, a brilliant through ball, and Andres Iniesta scores his second goal in two straight games, if there's one aspect of his game that's always been criticised, Duncan, it's that he doesn't score the goals, but on the big occasion he does, here Messi, absolutely superb, Hell caught completely out of place and Iniesta hammers it past Diego Lopez. There's a lot of emotion in that left footed shot from Andres Iniesta. 1 0 to Barcelona. Fantastic ball from Messi. The defence scared of Messi. They come towards him. He finds Iniesta and it's a beautiful shot from Iniesta delivered with power. His third league goal of the season, his second, as you say, in two games. Well, that has brought a big smile to Martino's face, Messi just splitting the defence with the pass though, and Barcelona have got exactly the start, the, the help out, he gets away there from uh, Benzema with ease, Messi to Neymar, and by uh, at least a couple of those uh, Benzema chances, play on again says the referee, Messi straight to Di Maria, Neymar, Pepe, Firmly challenging from behind, play on, says the referee, the flag's down, it's Leo Messi! Oh, and he's pulled it wide! Leo Messi can't believe it, and I'm sure neither can the Bernabeu. That should have been 2-0. Look at the control from Leo Messi here, it's absolutely perfect, he times his run well, Marcelo's going forward, he leaves him all on his own, Leo Messi, under pressure from Sergio Ramos, but he scuffs it wide. Well, a let off at both sides, at both ends of the pitch now. First Benzema with only Valdez to beat. Then Messi just now with only Lopez to beat. It's two against two. Neymar and Messi against Pepe and Ramos. When Xavi and Busquets are involved there. Leo Messi now. Neymar, Fabregas and Iniesta are with him. He plays it back years, especially under Pep Guardiola. Pass Real Madrid to death. Uh, get into the uh, final third there, Busquets with a great ball to Messi, Messi to Neymar again, he got away from him and uh, somehow Marcelo, who totally lost his balance, managed to get in the way of Neymar's shot. In the end, Neymar frustrated again and the referee's given a free kick against the Brazilian. But it's 
absolutely astonishing to me, Duncan, how easily Barcelona are causing problems uh, on the edge of the box for Real Madrid. Their defence is all over the place. And we're playing it straight through the middle, and Madrid just have to weather this storm because Barcelona will try and go straight back at them now that they're down to ten. Benzema gets his second, Real Madrid two, Barcelona one. Let's see how the Catalans respond. Messi goes down, fouled by Sergio Ramos. Undiala Mayenko doesn't want any comments about that decision. And uh, Alonso was quick to uh, just go and have a word with Ramos and tell him to back off. Well, once we see the first yellow card in this game, uh, the floodgates will be opened and uh, Sergio Ramos uh, with another poor challenge on Leo Messi, as uh, he has done so often in these Clásicos, of course. Well, 25 minutes on the clock and this, living up to its name, level of tension is pretty high and Leo Messi is going to take this free kick. Looks a little bit far out, straight into the chest of Alonso and uh, Ronaldo. Absolutely a penalty for handball there. Leo Messi on the ball. Head of Chabi. It's really well read by Busquets. Gets another opportunity to first time to Fabregas. The referee getting in the way a little there. Leo Messi gets away from Alonso. Out to Neymar. Three in the box for Barca. Headed clear by Honda's job. Iniesta, Messi, Busquets. Mascherano, Fabregas, Xavi, Messi, Iniesta, Iniesta to Alba, Alba cuts it back and Luka Barcelona looking to gain control again in midfield, they certainly had it in the early minutes, haven't had it really since uh, getting ahead, Dani Alves, Fabregas, Messi, Alves again, Alba through the middle, Messi gets away from Pepe, here's Iniesta, running at Carvajal, leaves it for Alba, and Alba failing to get the ball, it's quick to get up, it's good to see the players getting up quickly after being challenged, Xavi, Messi first time, gets it back from Fabregas, runs into Ramos, he finds Neymar, Messi, and is the equaliser, Leo Messi on the scene, 2-2, you could see it coming, Messi had that glint in his eye, somehow got through, and it looks as though the goal isn't given, and just what I was saying about play acting rolling around, and uh, bad sportsmanship, Ramos and Alves are involved there, and Neymar quick, to get uh, Alves out of the way. I don't think he's given it. Pepe is on the floor. Well, it must be serious then. A little bit of afters. We shall uh, see what the referee gives because... Uh... Pepe staying down, he wants him to get up and he's got a yellow card in his hand. I think he's given the goal. Well, not a good reaction from Real Madrid there. Ramos having words with Fabregas. Pepe gets to his feet. And the referee gives a yellow to Fabregas, a yellow to Pepe, the goal stands, and Solomon has seen justice there in the camp. No, no, it's Pepe's reaction, isn't it? Well, Pepe yeah. and Fabregas uh, lowering the tone after Leo Messi finding a way in, equaling Hugo Sanchez's goal record from... Uh, La Liga is now the second top scorer joint. It's, but it's Pepe who goes in there, and he goes in with his head, and then goes down holding his head. Pepe needs a red card there. He does this time and time again. What has Fabregas done? He's nowhere near the, the play even. It was a brilliant individual goal from Messi. Sheer determination, forcing him to uh, break his way through what appeared to be an unpassable wall on the edge of the box. And, uh, well... Pepe, for some reason, living up to his reputation, which is uh, one of the worst, really, in these Classico games. I can't see what on earth he's doing, looking for Fabregas, who's not even in the area at that stage. Well, 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 2-2 at the end of the day. That's uh, 
a perfect time for Barcelona to equalise. What a match we've got in our hands here, Duncan. Well, what a second half uh, we're going to see in uh, not too long here in the Bernabeu. It just sets us up perfectly for the second half. 36% of possession for Real Madrid. They had looked to be going into half-time in the lead of the game. Now Barcelona pull it back with a bit of uh, messy persistence rather than magic. Well, it's uh, Pepe on the ball. He's uh, certainly had... Got his... Uh, worked his way into the referee's book. And... Uh, Carlo Ancelotti, I'm sure, will have calming words with him at half-time. And three minutes before the break, equalised with a little bit of Leo Messi magic. Though, and Ronaldo picking it up, feeding it straight to Fabregas. Here's Messi to Alves. Neymar again, a little touch to Messi. Busquets, oh, superb work from Sergio Busquets. Fabregas has got plenty of options. Here's Messi, always a good option. Now Iniesta. Fabregas finds Messi on the edge of the box. Can't that kind of instant, but you never know. Messi and uh, for, uh, this scoreline to change. I don't think many people think it'll finish 3-2. Messi gets away from everybody except Ronaldo and wins a free kick in the process. I think it's Di Maria who may have been penalised. Mundiano pops it on its way. Di Maria, oh, there's another poor one. Messi just unable to react. No contact there. Pepe ends up on the floor. Marcelo rather ends up on the floor. Xavi. Barcelona looking for a reaction. They've got plenty of time. They've got this man on the pitch. Leo Messi inside. Nice play from Modric. Little chip over the top. Piquet wins it. Messi first time, Fabregas, can Neymar get there? Ramos with all the ports. Here's Leo Messi, through the middle, looking for Neymar, what a ball from Messi! That's got to be a penalty, that's got to be a red card for Sergio Ramos. The Clasico turns around, what an unbelievable through ball from Leo Messi. Ramos hasn't got a foot to stand on. Smile as much as you like. That's a penalty and a red card in any textbook in the world. Neymar may well have gone down softly. Is he onside is the question. There's going to be doubt about that. He may well just be a centimetre ahead of uh, Marcelo. And in fact, looking at it again, really, you've got to say, uh, Ramos doesn't make too much contact. Does he flick him at the, on the back of the heel? He may well do. But certainly there's no arm, is there? Can Messi step up as Ronaldo did just a few minutes ago? This to make it 3-3. Leo Messi. No mistake, Barcelona are back in it. They're playing against 10 men for the remaining 26 minutes. Pedro's going to come on. Leo Messi's got his second. Well, everything's still to play for now. Is the league still an option for Football Club Barcelona? Well, this game has been so back and forth, and uh, we see again, it looks as if Neymar, well, he knew what he was doing. He shouldn't really have got to that ahead of Marcelo and Ramos. From a certain angle, it looks as if it is, uh, well, Ramos just clips the back of Neymar's heel, but uh, you can look at these things so many times. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all down to what the referee decides. Pedro. Here's Leo Messi. Pedro go. Iniesta's on the ball. Finds Messi. Alves outside him. And uh, that's great work from Varane. He manages to lose it. I think it was uh, Di Maria's fault, really, there. Iniesta. Messi charged down by Pepe. For Madrid, except Ronaldo. Pedro has a run. Messi plays it out to Iniesta. Iniesta to Alves, a draw, not really an option for Barcelona. Alves to Iniesta, Messi, Fabregas, Pepe sticking with him, Fabregas finds Xavi. This is where Barcelona is so precise. Messi, Alves is going to try a shot. Oh, off the woodwork with Lopez beaten. Pedro and Varane clears it, came off Pedro. Tremendous shot from Alves off the base of the wood. Referee. And uh, play on with Leo Messi on the ball. 
Messi to Fabregas. And his two most on form players, certainly most on form strikers, are both on the pitch. Pedro and Messi having a little chat. And, uh, well, maybe a little bit of uh, mind games going on there, but nothing too unpleasant. It goes down. This is the opportunity for Barcelona and Leo Messi to make this league alive. There will be three teams within one point of each other with nine games to go. If Barcelona can get the three points, it's a real tester for Diego Lopez and it's a real tester for Leo Messi. On a hat-trick, Messi, 4-3 unstoppable in the top right hand corner Leo Messi does it once again there may have been two penalties in his hat trick but you need nerves of steel to put that one beyond Lopez and I think Real Madrid now down to ten men are practically on their knees can they find what it takes to get back into this game once again six minutes left on the clock Real Madrid three Football Club Barcelona four well, no doubt about the decision, Xavi Alonso, well, he's shown a yellow card. That must mean that he was shown that for protesting now, he wasn't shown a yellow card for the penalty. Obviously. Cool finish from Leo Messi. Yeah, obviously, he's just talked himself into the book there, Alonso. He's uh, not at all a popular man with uh, some of the Barcelona players and some of his teammates in the Spanish national side, as Di Maria is replaced by Isco Messi. Well, touching the Barca crest as Pedro goes in with Pepe. That's an absolutely brilliant penalty from Leo Messi. Under such pressure as well, Leo Messi is one thing taking those in training and quite another when you're inside the final 10 minutes at the Santiago Bernabeu. Five yellow cards for Real Madrid, two to Football Club Barcelona. Madrid, of course, with that uh, red card to Ramos. And a little bit unfortunate, that's going to be talked about all week, that's for sure. Right. But it's the Barca fans who are singing, but it's not over yet. One of two objects we saw being thrown onto the pitch as Messi celebrated. And, uh, well, tremendous disappointment for Madrid in the Bernabeu. Alonso and Modric, the free kick's given. Messi brought down, Modric gets the yellow card on this occasion. And uh, that's a firm challenge. Alonso goes in with everything too. And uh, Messi clutching the back of his calf. Flabbergasted, Marcelo meanwhile takes the throw. Here's Alonso. Messi claiming the throw for Barcelona. Not given, he goes to Madrid. Ball. Barcelona looking to put this one to sleep. Leo Messi. Jordi Alba. One minute to go in the Bernabeu. It's Messi on the ball, he loses out. Iniesta was there to win it back, Busquets. Here's Messi, there's a three-man defence, and he can't feed it through to Pedro. The second ball coming to Iniesta, Messi again. Jordi Alba escapes the lunging challenge. Still Alba, back to Pedro, now Messi, and here's a chance for Alexis, he couldn't get the shot in. And, uh, as always, Sergio Busquets was there. Morata trying to get back, but Madrid, oh, that is a booking straight away. No, it's all over. Barcelona have won the Clasico, 4-3 in the Bernabeu. It's uh, been a tremendous game. Barcelona delighted, the league still on, the league still open. For Real Madrid, a tremendous disappointment. They'll draw some comfort from the way they came back from that early blow of Barcelona's first goal. But at the end of the day, being left with 10 men for 35 minutes or so was just more than they could take. Barcelona kept their heads, a good team performance. The league is still on. Thanks for joining us tonight to watch this Clasico from the Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid, three Leo Messi and Football Club Barcelona 4 with a hat-trick from, well, one of the greatest players in the world.